I dearly hope, as somebody who believes deeply in the capability and the quality of public life to truly make life better for everyone, that this building and this institute finds a way to communicate how important relationships, trust, and follow-through are to truly being successful in public life. Because to me, that embodies what Senator Kennedy was all about. We should never, ever forget that when someone serves their country, it is their family that serves with them and their friends. And you, in many cases, make a commitment to this commonwealth and to this country that goes way beyond what most of us could ever possibly imagine. All right, everybody. One, two, three. Yeah. Yeah. I'm also proud today to say that we are going to commit an additional $1 million in Department of Energy resources to funding over the next two years an expansion of our Ag Energy Grant Program under the Department of Agricultural Resources, John. Have a good time with that, okay? We hope you do wonderful things working with us over the course of the next few years here in the Commonwealth. Thank you. One of the best things you can do for somebody who's in a terrible, awful situation has helped them find a way to self-sufficiency through employment. Absolutely right. One of the best things you can do as an employer, or just as an employee, is to make sure you work either in an organization or are part of an organization where that type of behavior simply isn't accommodated. I'll never forget the first time a friend of mine said to me, after we've been talking about this for over an hour, she just finally paused and she looked at me and she said, it's really hard to explain autism to people who have no direct connection to it because our children don't look any different than anybody else's. She said that to me God, it must be at least 10, maybe 12, 15 years ago. And I'll never forget it. There, there are 400,000 families uh, in Massachusetts that would qualify, that qualify currently and that would benefit from doubling the size of the credit. And Absolutely. there was a study that came out the other day that said it would put over $100 million back into our economy because mm -hmm. the credit, the beneficiaries of the credit are people who live here, work here, and, um, and spend here. And the thing I love the most about the program is um, the more you work, the more you make. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. uh, it's one of uh, it's one of the best pro programs we can we can use, and I I'm all for. I would love to see the federal government decide to decide to extend the, What's our model? extend the credit. I also want to thank the members of the working group for the hard work and the significant effort you've all put into this so far, and I look forward to seeing uh, the results of your efforts. To date, more than 1,000 people have turned out in Worcester, Greenfield, Plymouth, and now Boston to share their experiences and participate in this conversation. And your willingness to share with us your thoughts and with each other is important to us as we shape our next steps forward in dealing with this crisis. But we need to be open and honest with ourselves about the way we all, as a society, think about pain meds with respect to all sides of those issues as we move forward on this.